I present to you part two of my portable maker case, the conclusion. I'm super happy with how this turned out. If you're into making electronics projects, then you definitely want to check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire to your specifications from Gerber files that you upload to their website. Check them out at PCBWay.com. Alrighty, if Tony Stark had a portable maker case, well, perhaps it would be something like this. This is where I ended up. Um, it's not final. Uh, it'll probably be a work in progress for a long time, but this is kind of the long and the short of it. And I am super, super happy with this. So I couldn't, I couldn't be happier actually, because I'm already using this. I am mobile right now and using this on the road. So we'll take a look at a few things here. Okay, first up, this is one of my favorite components already. This is my little portable oscilloscope. This is just one of the um, eBay specials for like uh, right around 20 bucks. And down below it, I've got its probe set that comes with it, as well as I had one of these nine volt to barrel jack adapters for Arduinos. And that feeds the power to the DSO, no problem. And it actually seems to work quite wonderfully off of that power supply. In the back, I also have its own power supply for uh, wall wart style, but uh, helps if you turn the right switch on. That's the coupling switch on the top. And yeah, that works just tickety boo. Pretty happy with that. So other than the scope, gotta have a meter and I'm really liking this oscilloscope multimeter. Um, I'm really happy with this. This is the prime use case for it as being mobile away from the bench and needing a scope. But they've got the meter leads stuff down in there. It should be noted, I have all kinds of space underneath here, tons of spare room. So we got, we can put tons more in here and then we're just gonna run into problems with weight. Uh, this case is gonna get heavy, but uh, next up, <laughs> handy little portable gaming system. This is just one of these El Cheapo uh, Game Boy clones. It's got a lithium ion battery in the back of it. I'll do a video on one of these. I've got several of them if you guys are interested, but uh, just for downtime, you know, you gotta have a fun retro gaming. Um, I've got my PyPico and my Arduino Nano and the OLED all set up and working. Underneath, I have this King's Done uh, screwdriver kit, and then I went ahead and put some razor blades in there, some X-Acto, and I've got some uh, paperwork down below that. Endwise to that, I have all my uh, jumpers, ni nice and tidy now, not a big mess. Just have a, a zip tie around them in there. And then here we have, uh, this is my logic probe, um, the clone Sele, and then a bunch of different microcontrollers, the Pi board, You'll see a video soon. I've got a Digispark and a few other things in there. So um, depending on what you want to make, well, I've got all the different micros required. In here, um, more uh, e-paper, uh, color, uh, LCD display, and a few other handy things, as well as another case here with the new Arduino BLE that I'm going to use for some machine learning and uh, Wemos, 30, or Wemos uh, D1 Mini. So handy handy stuff. These are these uh, red bottom motor cases for my quadcopters. They're perfect for this kind of thing. Now moving a little further over, I have this, uh, this power supply system, uh, basically a digital buck converter. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it on camera. I've just got the wire sort of stuffed in here, but this here wall work, or um, brick style power supply at the back feeds that 12 volt. You saw it in the previous video. Power bar, handy to have. This uh, for feeding my uh, soldering iron, my portable soldering iron, which is pretty handy. This uh, full review should be up by now. This thing actually works pretty good. I'm quite happy with it actually. Down under here, I have all kinds of meter leads, jumper wires, all kinds of things, um, different USB cables. Under here, I have these dollar store precision screwdrivers, side cutters, writing utensil, uh, Q-tips for cleaning, jumpers, uh, alligator clip leads, solder, screwdrivers, and tons more space down here. We have tons, tons of space that we can work with, so we can add a pile more stuff. And then here, 
uh, batteries from the dollar store, handy to have some spares. And then I got these cases, these were from the dollar store as well. They came with a wall hanging hardware for like nails and picture hangers and stuff. So I put all these spare parts that came with these Arduino kits. I got <laughs> tons of blinky, uh, all kinds of switches, um, different um, photosensitive stuff. Uh, motor and then in this one I have got some all kinds of transistors, capacitors, resistors, diodes, uh, more of these barrel jack adapters for the power supplies, a buck converter just in case for some reason I don't want to use this power supply and I want to use my own buck converter, a separate one, piezo transducers, you name it. And they all fit nice and uh, nice and cozy in here with all this extra space to spare. And I, I'm just super happy. I'm working from this case right now, as you've seen in the videos. So uh, I am mobile right now, and this is this is doing the job. This is doing the business. Um, I'm able to play with things, work on things. It's wonderful. I'm super happy with this case now. And I finally got myself a mobile rig to go anywhere and do anything. And of course, it's going to get more stuff in it. It'll go till it's stuffed. I'm, I'm sure that feature creep always it gets in there. But hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it gives you some ideas. Throw a comment down in below. Let me know what I've uh, what I missed, uh, what you would add if it was yours. I'd love to hear it. I, I like I, this is satisfies my maker OCD greatly. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects.